Hello, lots and lots of people are asking me about how to do a voltage drop question when you need to find the size of a wire given a certain voltage drop. So this is a typical type of exam question when you're doing a uh, 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 Canadian electrical code exam. So let's see, what size of wire would you use for a 2% voltage drop that is running 38 meters at 120 volts for a 20 amp load? All right, well, I would, this is a voltage drop, drop question. I would look at Canadian Electrical Code Section 8, voltage drop, eight, rule 8102. And I would know that it refers to a whole bunch of uh, tables, table D3. So I'm gonna say that this is a table D3 problem. This is a table D3 of voltage drop problem. So from that table, really all the voltage drop calculations that you're gonna be doing are going to use the same equation. So I like to really simplify things and write that equation in a format where we can just solve anything with it. So here's what the equation is. It's not written exactly like this in the code book, but I like to simplify it to exactly this. 1000 meters per kilometer times voltage drop and in the code book, they write this uh, various different ways, but really they're just solving for different variables in this same equation. The equation is 1000, which is the conversion between meters and kilometers times voltage drop equals a K value, which is now what table D3 has in it uh, in the 2024 version. It used to have something different where you could go and find uh, the size and um, and you could go find the size and the length, and then you can, you know, uh, find your corresponding values from there. But now there's a thing called a, a K factor, and that K factor is D rated by note three, also in um, at table D three, note three. I like to write that down right in my equation so I don't forget it. F, which is a factor in note two, which is usually the number, the integer two, times the current in amps times the length, which is in meters. Oh, and the units for K are in ohms per kilometer, you'll see on the table. And that's why we need this conversion factor of a thousand meters per kilometer, because the length is in meters here. And all we have to do in the size of wire question, this actually means solve for K. Then you're going to go to the K. Then you're going to go uh, find K in D3. And then from there, it'll show you, it'll show you which size. Therefore, you get size from there. That's how you approach these problems. So let's solve for K. All right. But we have, we know a lot of these values. Well, let me solve for K right now, because uh, if you've been out of school for a while, you might forget how to rearrange an equation. So what we're basically going to do is we're going to um, recognize that K is on this side. I wanna get K over to the other side. And then K is multiplied by all of these things, which means we need to divide them out on both sides to get rid of them. So I divide them on this side and this side. So they end up being over here. Then I'm gonna flip K and the rest of my equation just because I want it to say K equals. So that's how I do that. And let's um, let's do that in one step here. So K, don't forget K is derated. Um, and that is going to uh, equal then 1000 in the numerator meters per kilometer times voltage drop divided by everything I had to move over to the other side, which is F of note two current in amps length in meters. All right, so we're given a lot of these things. So it's not that hard of a problem. 
let's see, we are given that voltage drop is, is 2% and the voltage is 120. So, so the voltage um, amount that dropped in volts, the potential that actually dropped through this circuit is 120 volts times 0 0.02 for 2%, which is 2.4 volts is vol voltage drop. And then we also know that F is equal to two. Uh, we also know that I is equal to 20 amps. Uh, what else do we know? We know the length. Length equals 38 meters. So we actually have quite a lot in this problem that we don't have in other problems. So it's actually and not a harder problem. I would say out of all of the voltage drop kind of problems that a test could give you, this is really the easiest type to do. I'm just gonna solve those into this equation and I'm gonna get 1000. I, I always keep my units because my if my units are messed up, then that tells me that I made a mistake somewhere. So my units really help me and work in my favor. So let's keep those. F is unit less. I is 120, oops, let's wrote I there, is 120 amps, and length is 38 meters. I'm not using significant digits here, which does bother me a little bit, but we're we're kind of far away from that uh, because we're we're just learning the code right now. Okay. I'm going to assume that I just have a cell phone calculator, which I do. Now I'm going to do the numerator and the denominator uh, separately instead of in one calculation because uh, I can also know if I made a mistake there. And I want to be very careful because usually I'm doing this kind of question in a testing environment. So, you know, you can make more errors when you skip steps. That is going to work out to 1.58, ignoring significant digits. And it is um, meters times volts over kilometers over amps times meters. So let's just take a look at those units and let's put them as just one fraction. Meter times volts, kilometers is in the denominator and so is amps and so is meters. They're all in the denominator. So now I'm just simplifying my, my units here, making sure that they can help me figure out if I've made any errors. So that'll be 1.58. Looks like meters are gonna cancel out. And I'm gonna have kilometer on the denominator. And then I wanna recall Ohm's law, V equals I, R, excuse me, it's very hard to write over here, where uh, if I were to do that in units, it's voltage is equal to amps times ohms. And right now I have volts over amps. So if I were to solve volts over amps, I would divide through both sides by amps. I have volts over amps and I would be left on this side with ohms. So you can see here that a volt over an amp is actually an ohm. A volt over an amp is actually an ohm. So that is ohms per kilometer, which if you look at the notes on table D3, in the Canadian Electrical Code, it says that K is a value of ohms per kilometer. And that's what, and we're finished, we're all done. But the question was, what size of wire do you use for that 2% voltage drop? Well, now you just look at table D3. You're going to have to make some assumptions. You, I, let's, let's assume copper, which is a pretty good assumption in this case. Uh, there's copper and aluminum on table D3. And let's assume that power factor equals one. You do have to make those assumptions. 
So look for power factor in the question if it is so noted. And then you just find this in the table. You wanna find K. And you'll see that remember K has to be less than or equal to 1.58. Well, for six gauge, K, K is gonna be 1.59. We have to be 1.58. So this one is a little bit, I would hand this over to, to those in industry. To, mm, I would ask this question. Uh, however, technically, if you're doing this in a testing environment, you have to size up and use four gauge. Therefore, the answer is number four, since you have to be less than equal to 1.58. Number six is going to be 1.59. So this is the answer to this question. Finding the size of wire when you know the voltage drop is not that difficult. We're just using table D3, which really has a governing equation. Keep your units, let them do your checking for you, and you should be good to go.